Hi, this is Terry, and I'm going to show you a video on how to use the Hot Tools Cool Tool um, Vapor Iron. It's my first video, so I hope you guys will cut me some slack. This is the box, Cool Tools by Hot Tools, the cool way to hot styles. It is a vapor product, um, a flat iron, and it has argon. Here's what comes in it. There is a um, Cool Tools flat iron. And this is the vapor reservoir, and it has this little sticky that you need to take off of it in order to start using it. There's also arrows right there, and it comes packed in with a 80 milliliter, 80 milliliter um, argon vapor treatment. Now the product can only be used with this. If you use water or another person um, company's product, we can't guarantee it but it will, um, you, you'll be amazed at the results, so we'll show you that, but I need to show you how to use the product first. So you pull the, back on this, well, let me show you the rest of it, I guess. This thing in the back is a locking feature. You can push it down and that way the plates stay together, so if you put it in your drawer at home or if you need to put it away, it won't, it takes up less space. And just as an aside, you should never wrap your cord around your product like this. That's very bad for the cord. Um, if you're going to put it away, do it in a figure eight and put it away that way. So when you're ready to use it, you unlock it. And that's all there is to that. Then there's two little tabs right here and then there's those two arrows there. So you pull this feature back and the whole thing comes out. It's hard to hold this up in front of the camera. Oops, I'm in front of the camera. I filled this prior to showing you this. So sorry about that, I just dripped some on me. Um, anyway, so I'm going to put the iron down, but see there's the two little holes where the fluid is delivered to the plates and the steam plate has a little channel right here that steam comes out and think of this like an iron for clothing, only going to use it on your hair. So if I were using cotton, cotton fabric, I would use a higher heat and if you're using polyester, so if you're blonde, I'm cotton, if you're a blonde, you would use a lighter heat. So there's no reason to ever use 450 degrees, which everybody freaks out that they want that kind of heat on a flat iron, but you don't need it. You can bake brownies at 450, you don't need to do your hair that way. So there is a dial here, and it goes up to 450, because we know that that's what people want. I'm telling you not to use that. So I'm going to put it at 350 for my hair, 100 degrees less than I would typically think was fun to use. And if you use 450 because you don't want to listen to me, then you should go really, really fast. Drag it through your hair as fast as possible. So anyway, I'm going to put this down so I can show you this. Now this is the reservoir, and it has two, for better lack of a better term, two nipples right here that plug into those holes. And you pull this part out in the back, and because of my nails, it's going to be a little difficult for me to have this problem every time. So I'm going to do something I shouldn't be doing. I pull it out with my mouth. There we go. And then there is the fill. Here is the, the fluid that came with it and the top screws off of it. So it's a perfect little filling mechanism. Um, when you fill one of these up, it'll last for several applications. It, it should traditionally lasts more than just one time on your own hair. Now when you snap these two things in, sometimes water will squirt out here just because of the pressure within the um, reservoir forces it out the hole. Don't worry about that, just wipe it off. You're not gonna get electrocuted or anything like that. Um, anyway, so when you put it back together, you match up the two arrows and you snap it together and you can hear it snap and it shouldn't be wiggly and there should be no space there and now you're ready to go. Now back over to here, um, there's a steam feature, and if you don't want to use it with fluid, which you're perfectly welcome not to, you can turn it to the other position, and that makes this button go down so it doesn't push up against the priming mechanism up here that makes the, the steam come out. If you put it on the steam position, that's how that starts happening. Now, if there's liquid here, even though you have the steam off, it still may um, let some steam out because there's fluid in there, and it's a gravity feed, so it may slowly go, but it won't be pumping out. Um, I need to turn it on. I can't see it. There we go. So now it's on and you can see a little flashing light. So when it gets to the desired temperature, of which I set mine at, let me get it there. I'm going to start at 350. It's always better to start cooler than you need than the hotter. 
Um, I can always turn it up, but I can't, um, you can't repair the damage from it being too hot. So what happens is when you glide through your hair, it should, it should straighten it in one pass. And the steam is the thing that's causing that to happen. And I don't know if you could see the steam is starting now. So see, I haven't closed it or done anything and it starts to steam. This is for demonstration purposes only. I do not want you doing this at home, but there's a little button here that if I pump it, it makes the steam come out even faster, see? Now that's not on my hair, so you know it's not frying my hair, it's doing that on its own. Um, another thing that I notice a lot of people try to do is they try to squeeze their flat iron and drag it through your hair like this. You should never have to touch the end of a flat iron. This whole housing is hot because it does get to a higher temp high temperatures, so you try, want to try never to touch the ends. I always use a comb and I hold my hair up and I drag it through, which I'm going to show you now. So um, I think I've talked, I mean, I showed the box, the appliance, my hair. There's, this is my hair in natural state. I washed it this morning. I didn't dry it with a blow dryer. Typically I would blow it with a blow dryer, but I wanted you to see what a good flat iron this works with the steam. So I didn't. You should run a brush through your hair and I'm going to do that now. And I'm not gonna talk for a little bit until I think of something else to say. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you how to do this. Something else I wanted to tell you is um, obviously I have red hair out of bottle. So red, if, you, if you have been a redhead or are currently a redhead, you know how fast our color fades. The thing that's nice about this is it seals the hair color right into your hair shaft. So um, if you're a salon person and you're doing this in the salon, the awesome thing is it makes the color last longer. So it locks the color molecule into the hair shaft and red being the largest one and the most hard to do so it just it see how see how shiny it is and um, I wish I wish you could see the video is harder to see than it actually looks in person but so that's the bottom row I finished that and I'm just using a little chopstick when I was <laughs> when I was in the salon if I got hot I would wrap my hair up like that so it'd be off my neck so I'm going to bring the top part down now. You can see a little of the shine now that we're on this top layer. Sorry, that's my chair. <laughs> so when this came out and talked about giving us conditioning treatment, it was exciting because use less heat and I get this like a sealed cuticle it lasts if you're in a humid area it'll last you um, two to three days and that's feedback from the field people testing it for us um, their styles are lasting two to three days without having to retouch their flat their flat you know touch back I'll spit that out in a second when you um, <laughs> rather than having to re flat iron their hair and occasionally, um, you know, I don't live in an arid environment. I mean, I do live in an arid environment. It's not humid here where I live, so I don't have a lot of problems. If I'm, if I'm in Florida, I almost die from the, and then I'm gonna do my bangs. It's hard to do the back, and I'm trying to keep everything on screen so this is interesting to you guys. <laughs> Now 
Now, once again, I want to I want to keep talking about the comb, the comb over iron method, and it really becomes very simple. It's so easy to um, flat iron your hair if it's if it's completely straight. And so, by using the brush, I mean the comb, I'm able to straighten my hair before I glide it through. Okay. Okay, so that's that's my hair straight. There's my hair. Fine. I forgot how much I like my hair straight. <laughs> Been wearing it curly for a while. Okay, that's it. So you can see that it's added some shine to my hair. Um, I color my hair every two weeks, so if anyone has damaged hair, it's me. And um, I really, really love this product, so I hope that you enjoyed the video, and I hope you try the Hot Tools Cool Tool product. Thank you. Check back with us for other videos.